Welcome friends. In this video, we are going to learn about comparator. Normally, what is comparator? Comparator is a circuit that we know. Comparator is an electronic circuit which compares two inputs and produces an output. In this section, we discusses about op-amp based comparator. So, the op-amp comparator compare one analog voltage level with another analog voltage level. In this an another analog voltage level means present some reference voltage. That means we are going to compare one analog voltage, one input voltage with one reference voltage and that produces an output signal based on this voltage comparison. That is comparator of op-amp. So the op-amp voltage comparator compares the magnitude of two voltage inputs and determines which is the largest of two. So from this we can say the comparator is a decision making circuit. That means which compare two input and it determine which one is largest. So it is a decision making circuit. So that makes use of an operational amplifier very high gain in its open loop state. This is that is there is no feedback resistance. Then let us see the types of comparator. There are two types of comparators. One is inverting comparator and another one is non-inverting comparator. First we discusses about inverting comparator. So this is the circuit diagram of inverting comparator. So inverting comparator means here we are giving the input voltage in inverting terminal. So input voltage we are going to compare analog input voltage and reference voltage. So the input voltage is given to the inverting terminal means that is called inverting comparator. That means the reference voltage is given to the non-inverting terminal. So this is output is taken from the sixth pin. So this is the circuit diagram of inverting comparator. So let us see the operation. So the sinusoidal input signal is applied to the inverting terminal. First the sinusoidal signal is applied to the inverting terminal and zero volt is applied to the non-inverting terminal. So first sinusoidal input is applied to the inverting terminal and zero volt is applied to the non-inverting terminal. So during the positive half cycle what happened in the inverting circuit? During the positive half cycle of sinusoidal input signal, the voltage present at the inverting terminal of the op-amp is greater than 0 volt. So here we are applying sinusoidal input to the inverting terminal and 0 volt is applied to the non-inverting terminal. So during positive half cycle, the voltage present at the input Sorry, voltage present at the inverting terminal of the op-arm is greater than 0 volt. Because this is positive voltage, this is 0 volt. So that VIE is greater than the reference voltage. So the output, what is the output value of the inverting comparator? The output value of the inverting comparator will be equal to minus Vz. That means that is the output of the inverting terminals. Here we are applying 0 volt. Volt. So the output is 180 degree phase shift of the input voltage. So here we are applying positive analog signal. So we will get the negative analog signal at the pos during positive half cycle. So that means the output value of an inverting comparator will be minus Vsat. So min during positive half cycle. The output value of an inverting comparator will be minus Vz for which the input voltage V, the input voltage V i is greater than the reference voltage V reference. Next during 
negative half cycle what happened during in VA input that is the negative half cycle then V reference is 0 volt we are applying 0 volt here that V I is less than V reference voltage if you are comparing these two voltage V I voltage is less than V reference that means we will get the positive voltage so here negative input voltage is applied to the inverting terminal so the output voltage will be positive voltage there is 180 degree phase shift between the inverting input and output so during negative half cycle we will get plus v sat output voltage so that the output of an inverting comparator will be plus v sat for which the input v i is less than the reference voltage so this is inverting comparator so this inverting comparator is also called as zero crossing detector that is inverting zero crossing detector then see them let's see the output and input waveform of inverting comparator so this is the waveform of input waveform of inverting comparator so if you are giving during the positive half cycle we will get the negative value if during negative half cycle we will get plus v sat so here from this output wave waveform we can observe that the output transition either from plus minus v sat to plus v sat or plus v sat to minus v sat whenever the sinusoidal input so here the sinusoidal input whenever the sinusoidal input crossing 0 volt that means output voltage changes its value when the input is crossing 0 volt this this is the inverting comparator so another name of inverting comparator is inverting zero crossing detector next we will discuss about non inverting comparator so this is the circuit diagram of non inverting comparator so non inverting comparator means we are giving the input voltage to the non inverting terminal and the reference voltage to the inverting terminal so this is non inverting comparator so the reference voltage is applied to the inverting terminal and the input voltage is applied to the non inverting terminal let's see the operation of the non inverting comparator so non inverting when we are applying uh, when we are apply sinusoidal input to the non inverting terminal so here we are applying sinusoidal input that V reference voltage is 0 voltage that means the inverting voltage is 0 non inverting there is the sinusoidal input voltage. So the sinusoidal input voltage is applied to the non inverting terminal and 0 voltage is applied to the inverting terminal. So during positive half cycle the voltage present at the non inverting terminal of the op amp is greater than the zero voltage so during positive half cycle that voltage is greater than v reference so what is the output voltage hence the output value of the inverting comparator will be plus v sat because here the voltage is positive we will get the positive voltage that means there is no phase shift in non inverting terminal so uh, here plus V saturation is the output voltage. So that is the output value of an non-inverting comparator will be plus V sat for which the input V i voltage is greater than the reference voltage V reference. Next during negative half cycle, during negative half cycle, the voltage present at the non inverting terminal of the op amp is less than zero voltage so the output voltage will be minus v sat so the output value of the non inverting comparator will be minus v sat for which the input vi is less than reference voltage so this is non inverting comparator next we will see the output and input waveform of non inverting comparator this is the input and output waveform of non inverting comparator 
so here the analog from this output waveform we can observe that the output transition this output transition either from plus v sat to minus v sat or from minus v sat to plus v sat whenever the sinusoidal input cro is crossing zero volt that means output changes its value when the input is crossing zero voltage so the this is the non inverting comparator the another non inverting comparator is also called as non inverting zero crossing detector so this is comparator of op amp thank you